The Grand Teton National Park is just this overwhelming vista of scenery. No matter what direction you look, you are absolutely in awe by what you're seeing. Where else could you go that you have just the most majestic mountains coming up out of Jackson Lake, then all of it feeding right into the Snake River, and it's beautiful. When I got the phone call, Ken, we want you to get a group of friends together, go stand up paddle boarding. I said, we're going to Grand Teton National Park, and it all fell together. We were really fortunate to have the help of Aaron Pruzan. He's the local outfitter here with Rendezvous River Sports. And he was also a key person in the stewardship to make the Snake River the wild and scenic Snake River. In 2003, a group of conservationists and recreationists got together and uh, realized that the Upper Snake River watershed was the best of the best of the best of rivers in the lower 48. And they said, we need to act now to preserve all this. I want to make sure that I have the opportunity in the future that I can bring my kids here, that they can have those experiences. It's time for us to unplug that younger generation out of their iPads and plug them into nature. When you look out at the Tetons, it's like, you know, they're huge. They're just absolutely enormous and gorgeous. And not only that, you've got the whole park where there's elk, there's moose, there's otters in the rivers. I thought that Grand Teton National Park was one of the coolest places I've been in a long time. So I think it's great that these guys are maintaining and preserving our public areas and our public lands. I've for years admired Subaru for their efforts. It's called Zero Landfill. They're now working in collaboration with the national parks and more specifically Grand Teton National Park, providing the resources, the knowledge, and the education on how they can take their national park and try to achieve zero landfill. I love it, the park is pristine and the river is pristine and we want to keep it that way. The future of conservation is intertwined with recreation and the two work hand in hand together and when they work together, it's a win-win for everyone.